Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 15th. Uh, so this week, I think you have a great week. Um, you know, I think Virgo has had a, you know, has had an okay time, you know. Um, I don't think you've been uh, challenged to, you know, too extremely. You know, I think maybe you've had, like, your disappointments and things like that. But compared to, you know, some of the other people have had really difficult, you know, have had really difficult times and things like that you have had i think a little bit of an you know easier time um and you know that's not to say it's been easy but just a little bit um you know gent more gentle and, and things like that the first card you have for the week is the queen of hearts um normally you know i read cards you know when people come in as people but really this week it seems like every person card that comes in is really just referencing feelings um for the sign that i'm reading for so you know uh and and that that kind of theme kind of continues right now and this is a card of uh you know it's a card of being with people you enjoy number one it's it's like you know this card can indicate being with people you like being around friends family whatever loved ones um and things like that and um you know, it's a card of uh, feeling, you know, maybe more emotionally fulfilled this week. Um, you know, a little bit maybe just like happy, very content this week and things like that. I think that's how you're going to be feeling. Uh, you have a great week, so, I, you know, I don't see why you wouldn't. But I think it's kind of going to be an easier week for you maybe than the past few weeks have been because of the retrograde and things like that. Uh, you have the Four of Diamonds which is a great card. It represents stability and stability coming to you. Um, you know, I always say that the four cards remind me of the home and that's what the, these, um, cards kind of provide for you is feelings, um, of the home, whatever home can provide you. So, you know, safety, security, protection, comfort, the list goes on and on of like how you feel when you're home. Uh, and I think you'll be feeling that. This card also represents change. So you could be changing like even a job or traveling or things like that. Or, or just seeing something new coming into your life. So like if you haven't had money, like all of a sudden you have money. Or, you know, if you haven't been getting out and hanging out with friends, uh, you'll be hanging out with friends. And it's like a change like that. Kind of like pretty extreme change in a, in a way. Um, next you have the nine of diamonds, uh, which is interesting. You're the first, one of the first signs that has not received the nine of hearts. It seems like everybody's been getting the nine of hearts this week. Nine of diamonds is also more change and it's more travel, new business, new job, new, new, new. So you have like a couple of, you actually have uh, several other cards that we're going to get to in a second that represent new. So I think you're going to see something new. You might've even had this message last week. I'm really bad sometimes at remembering previous um, messages and things like that. But, you know, this might be a continuing trend for you is that you're going to see like a lot of newness in your life and a lot of new situations and things happening. You have so many cards that represent new. A lot of you might be moving or have already moved because, you know, both of these represent home. And they both represent a literal move as in your house so that is a strong possibility next you have the five of uh five of clubs and new <laughs> that's what this card means it means new uh this card literally represents birth and uh to me this can represent a actual physical birth although for most of you i would have to say that this is just a birth of new things in your life i mean i, I think that's your message this week is new i I'm going to continue with your reading, but I, it's almost like I don't have to. It's almost like just expect new things to happen because guess what? They're going to happen. Uh, that's just simply what's what it's going to be. I'm also getting that, that um, you know, that you might be a little bit, you might see new things coming and you might be experiencing some of these great new situations and seeing money and things like that or seeing relationship and because you haven't had it you might be a little like like what is that you might you might start to question it or back away from it um you know because you haven't had it so long it's such a new situation because i can't say new enough in your reading this week 
So, you know, it's saying don't just allow things to happen. Don't get scared if all of a sudden you're making money or something like that, which is you might say, hey, that's ridiculous. Why would you? But people do it all the time. They all of a sudden make money. They freak out because they haven't been making money and they're they're not used to having it. So they like, you know, it causes this weird thing. Um, you know, it's almost like universal Stockholm syndrome that we get used to our crappy situations to say the least. And, uh, you know, then when things get better, we freak out because it's not the same. So this is saying, don't let that happen. More newness right here. This is the 10 of clubs, which means a new business a new, um, you know, business success, money with business, new relationships, new travel, you know, um, good luck. This card also means good luck, plain and simple. But God, to say the least, you're going to have, I think you have like two different sides here. You have a side that represents uh, travel and home and a side that represents people, friends, business, money. This represents money as well. And it, it's all new. So have fun this week. I think you're going to have an exciting week with a bunch of newness. doesn't get any better than that. So enjoy it. And thank you for watching this video.